thousands of Russians queued on Tuesday to pay their respects to Boris Nemtsov. The Kremlin critic's murder last week has reignited fears among opposition figures of the dangers of speaking out against President Vladimir Putin. Nemtsov's coffin stood at a human rights centre named after Soviet dissident Andrei Sakharov. The casket lid was partially open to reveal his face. Photos of the 55-year-old hung on the walls and sombre music played. Nemtsov's mother stood stooped over the coffin on a day she marked her 88th birthday. The queue of people waiting to go and pay their respects stretched about a kilometre. With the escalation of the war inside Russia, not only in Ukraine, but just overall the country, and that means the escalation of fear, and uh, it means the escalation of the repressions on the, everybody who disagrees with the Putin's policy. Yavlinsky told mourners later that the shots were fired not only at Nemtsov, but at democracy in Russia. Former British Prime Minister John Major was present, but Poland said the Speaker of its Upper House of Parliament was prevented from attending because Russia would not issue him with an entry visa. Latvia also said its former Foreign Minister was also denied entry. I first met Boris in the early 1990s and I very much admired what he did and what he stood for. He stood for the rule of law, he stood for freedom of speech, he stood in a word for liberty. And the things he stood against were very important as well. Aggression, repression and corruption. And if anyone believes that his voice will be silenced by his murder, then I believe they have made a very serious error. The mourners feel deep alarm at Nemtsov's killing, but who represent only a minority of the Russian population. Polls show most Russians support Putin, despite a plummeting ruble and international sanctions over the crisis in Ukraine. The killing of the leading opposition leader against the backdrop of the Kremlin in an area closely watched by the security services has been deeply awkward for Vladimir Putin. While most of the world media focuses on Kremlin involvement in Nemtsov's murder, Russian state media has put forward a wide range of other theories. News outlet Izvestia reported Ukraine's secret service and a pro-Ukrainian Chechen fighter may have been involved. Meanwhile, Kremlin propaganda channel Life News, renowned for its conspiracy theories, claimed that Nemtsov was caught in a jealous love triangle with Doritska and another man. Another channel, TV Zvezda, alleged that domestic and external forces, including Ukrainian right-wing politician Dmitry Yarosh, were also interested in destabilizing Russia. Nemtsov's companion, Anna Doritska, who was with him at the moment he was shot on a bridge near Red Square, has returned to her native Ukraine. It said she'd already given evidence and promised to continue to cooperate with investigators.